The OU men's basketball team has made the NCAA tournament, and we're going to talk about it. And all that's coming up after the bump. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. I am in the backyard of my girlfriend's house trying to play with the dogs and commune with the children. But we interrupt my R&R &R to talk about OU as the number nine seed playing the number eight seed Ole Miss in the south region of the NCAA tournament. Now the shot here is OU becomes the first team in more than 20 years to make the tournament winning eight or fewer games in its 18 game conference schedule. So we're talking about a team that went 19 and 13 winning an at-large bid with a net ranking of like 37 and the 29th toughest schedule in all of college basketball. But this team ain't very good. And this really speaks to how good Lon Kruger is at his job. Never mind that he was holding on to all three timeouts with one minute to play in the Wednesday opening round against a very bad West Virginia team. End up losing two. But you know what? You make the tournament. Why do you make the tournament? Because, well, we're, we're holding up Wofford now more than anything else. And we're also... Hey, Zena. This is... Z you you want to be in the video or not? Come here. See, this is, this is Zena. We're not really friends, but I take good care of her because this is, this is Laurel's favorite dog. Zingo's over here too. Zingo is not necessarily enthusiastic like me. See, Zingo, look, at look, 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 okay. He's not into it either. Look, they're about as enthusiastic as I am about the men's basketball team making the tournament because I just don't want to get embarrassed and I understand a lot of folks go, wow, hey man, they're in it now. Maybe they go on a seven game run. It's possible. It's also possible that I could still grow to be six foot five, two sixty, and sign my national letter of intent to play. I don't know, Gardner Webb, which coincidentally is in the bracket. And when you look at the bracket, it's really tough off in there. So it's getting difficult to see this team making a run through the tournament because you're looking at Virginia at number one, Wisconsin at the five seed, Kansas State at the four seed, which Helped to win a share of the Big 12 title this year. Villanova at the 6th seed. St. Mary's at the 11, who knocked off probably the best college basketball team in America for my money outside of Duke. You got a really good Cincinnati team in there. And of course, you got Tennessee. This might be the toughest, like, region I've seen in recent memory. And that would serve OU right for winning 19 and losing 13 in a loaded Big 12 conference, right? That's the really big deal here is... OU was able to get into the tournament because one through about eight, you're talking about world beaters, not just teams that actually could be good, but teams that are actually good. And for the first time in a very long time, we're talking about the Big 12 being perhaps the deepest conference in college basketball. Now, the ACC is going to have something to say about that. Of course, the Big Ten's got to throw their hat in there. But really, you're talking about the Big 12 in the way that you might talk about SEC football. And when you look at what Lon has been able to do with this roster, built primarily on defense and whatever Jamal Benini can do with the team and whatever Brady Manick can contribute. And, you know, we're talking about Rashad Odom's being pretty good, but we got we got, we got got some work to do with old Christian, y'all. We, we, just, we just do. I would not put it past them to be able to beat Ole Miss, but outside of that, I'm not expecting a whole lot from this team. As a matter of fact, I wasn't really expecting this team to make the tournament until everybody else started saying, hey, they're going to make the tournament because you look at the net ranking, you look at the tough schedule, you look at the Big 12 Conference, they're going to have to let them in because, frankly, there just aren't enough good teams to fill out a really good 68-team tournament. And honestly, with 64 teams, you would have much the same issue. But again, Lon Kruger proving to be worth the every, every penny that Joe C. and the athletic department are paying him, even as to begin this season, people are like, it's time for Lon to go. I'm not really into Lon Kruger. I'm not really on his side because I want the team to be better. Better than what? OU basketball fans, they're rabid, and I understand that. But for the most part, OU basketball fans are OU football fans first. And the way they look at the men's basketball team is not to get embarrassed. We're talking about Sherry Cole and how bad she's been at her job, not because we're expecting her to win national championships, but because... It's been embarrassing to watch the women's basketball team play. Now, we become a softball school here in just a couple of weeks. But outside of that, look, Lon Kruger did a job, absolutely impressed with the way that this team was able to fight, even as it was giving up L's to teams I shouldn't have thought it was giving up L's to. In the same year that Kansas, frankly, just wasn't very good, 
You're getting to see OU benefit from that. Kudos to Lon Kruger. Kudos to the team. We'll see how this all shakes out in a really tough South region of the 2019 NCAA tournament. Also, be sure to check out the Fight Me bracket for the NCAA Bracketology. It's on CBS. There's a link in the description, and I'm going to drop one in the comments if you would like to participate. Probably going to give away some stuff, courtesy of AmericanPutterCompany.com. Visit them. Use my name at checkout. Yada, yada, yada. Also, check them out on IG because the, the photos are just really just that filthy. All right. Get into the bracket. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go back to R&R. &R. Doses.